stuff flew in the middle of nowhere. That's half. Yep, I'm back on the wind generator, and this is bare vice grips. Oh, <laughs> where there was supposed to be a prop shaft. Well, that prop shaft for this 1200 watt little generator, because that's what it's supposed to put out, is 1200 watts. Gearing down, this is 136.11 repeater, or one repeater, from the 3600, goes to the 700, and then it goes there, because it's uh, 5.14 times the gear reduction is what I have each time, and that times two, so that's like 10.28. Now, well, not really. It's 5.5 of the 5.14 of each. Then you step it down, it goes there, it just multiplies it. So, in order for me to run this thing, I need probably about two, two horsepower of a gas or anything else of torque, also wind force or anything else. So, that's a newtons or newton meters. And, well, I did some a lot of calculations last night. And yesterday during the day, because I had fixed this yesterday, and today I obviously I'm not fixing it today, I don't need to, because it's done. The the slack is being taken out. I've literally taken down the bottom. Uh that's a, a longer 516 bolt, but I put a 3/8 nut on the shaft side because where it ends of the thread, well it's too long, so it's it's wider. So use a nut as a spacer. Then I came into the problem where it was hitting the end cap bushing for the butt, for the bearing. I just noticed that this morning, so I tapped it with my hammers and my ch and my chisels, or punches, whatever you want to call it. In order for me to have the right size of prop, I'm looking at now given speeds here are 25 kilometers per hour. If you're in miles per hour, just do the math. It's 1.6 kilometers per one mile per hour. If you can't figure that out, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. That's basic math. It's like people are having a hard time with fractions on wrenches. Like, it's not fucking rocket science, man. It's Don't be such lazy asses. It's stupid. I don't care. <laughs> you know? Um, and the best angle is between 88 and 90 degree angle of uh, a sail. So, say that's your... your pitch here so that is up and down that is your best most amount and at one square foot I was only pushing 2.0 newtons which turns into 82.362 newton meters well one horsepower is 745 rounding up 0.7 newton, newton meters <laughs> So at uh, mine, what I need, I need 18.2 square feet at 25 kilometers per hour. That is basically a no, uh, just no. Think about it, 18 by 18, then that's one piece. That's not, that's 18 up and 18 down, but 18 only across, luckily. I don't have to go left and right. So that's 36 feet to make one fucking horsepower. That doesn't even make sense, right? That's what I'm, I'm getting at. It, it, it doesn't make sense. At a 40 kilometer an hour, it says 7.1 square feet is what I mapped out. But I have a lot of resistance in the gearing. So I'm, I'm not abandoning the project. I am modifying what I'm going to do with it. It was supposed to be a wind slash pedal generator. It will continue to be the pedal generator. I'm going to find my smaller shaft and put it back on here and or switch this shaft for the other one and put that other one over here where I'm going to have a gear and that goes to a chain. And that will be, it will be pedal because I still have lots of links left for the chain here. So I still have lots of chain here, and I can get more Princess Auto, so I don't really care. But I've got all the wiring going right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll just uh, bring this right in. Okay, the wiring. 
I figured it out. Oh, damn tools in the way. All right, so coming out of this, you have a yellow and green, okay? And that connects over to the, the ground here. This is just there for shits and giggles. It's supposed to connect it here. And on this side, it connects to the ground outside, to the actual ground ground. Uh, the blue goes to this little module that's here. Okay. Uh, top and bottom, just remember which one they are. Uh, so the ground also goes to the bottom of the plugs. These are the plugs here. You can see that on that side. That's just the positive and negative for that. So the red is technically your... It could be your negative or your positive. I really don't fucking know. But I remember... It being red on left, white on the right side when I'm facing it from the back side. And then there, and then, so your red comes from here, and I, I have it set up right to the sensor. With, or sorry, a reset switch on the front here. In reality, yeah. That doesn't have to be, that could go right to this. The, you could have put this on a fuse, whatever. That's uh, a breaker kind of thing. Um, and then it connects off. This here is if you want more, like you can keep going and going and going with more plugs or whatever. Same with the white. There's an extra one here. I'm thinking that's got to do with the on and off. Well, no, the on and off switch, that was for the uh, generator itself, the engine, which obviously you can see is no longer there. Uh, bearings replaced. See all this is here. That's that spacer I put in. There's only a couple washers on top because I didn't need to. So, you see there's a bit of slack, but you want a bit of slack. And on the bottom chain, there's a bit of slack, but not too much. Now I'll give it a spin where you can see. And I'll try to... I'm left-handed, I'm doing it with my right hand. <laughs> so here, get right in there. Obviously I can only do it so much as... Okay. Now, now you can see right here in the darkened video <laughs> that that is not a hundred percent. Obviously, the counterweights are making it off balance, so I need to put a support from here all the way up to here, or vice versa. I need to just do a, an angled support. So I'm going to spin that. So you're not... It's the whole everybody is so fucking... Oh, you're faking it! I gotta move this away. So... You see that it's me cranking it, okay? Now watch the little numbers on there. It will... Okay. Like, I can... Get it up to... I've gotten it up to 1.6, but... It, it does change, okay? So that's what I have right now. It will go pedal instead. So it's an exercise generator. <laughs> and yes, here I'll even prove that it works in both. Because, well, you see the wiring, it, it makes sense that it does. Actually, you know it works that way. Let's just go this way. Okay, so positive, negative doesn't really make a fucking difference in this. So see, now they're reversed. That's. See what I mean? So the positive and negative never really made a difference. That's where you can take a plug in and you can flip it and it won't do anything different. I'm not making much voltage. That's that's for set for 200 volts. For some reason it's not reading on the 20 set? I don't know. I Either I lo lost myself on my uh, voltmeter and I'm half what dumb. But it's it works. It does a thing. And it is what it is. That's where I'm going to leave this. So I am technically saying that is a complete, not meaning it's a complete done, it's a complete failure, it's a complete success. No. It is technically possible to make a generator, but I'm going pedal style. I'm not doing anything else. If I put on, so all I'm doing is another this and I'll get a second one of these, another one-to-one -one gear. I have the other 14 uh, tooth upstairs. Put it on a shaft, I'll make it like uh, an exercise fucking bike. 
It's just that it has an elongated chain or whatnot. I, I really don't. I don't care. It, it, whatever I can do. Because the the it's like you can have hard mode. You switch chain to which chain you want. But it, I don't care. It is what it is. I'm Duff. I live in the middle of nowhere. That's my dog Saf. She's a big suck. And that's the wind generator that is now just straight up pedal generator because I fucked up. And yeah. Nope. Wrong setting. So if you like what you see, I will put in description maybe. No, you know what? Fuck it. If, if you need to watch the video to see what you gotta see. Like always, have a good one.